Hey guys, Smart Ninja 000 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use slash boss bar. Um, now this is a very basic tutorial, and it's just going to be the super basics of how to create one, how to set the values, um, and that's pretty much and every single option you can actually do with this. Um, so yeah, um, again it's a basic tutorial. I did one of these before, which was how to use slash execute. Um, because it's new, uh, got updated, so yeah. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do slash boss bar, and then you want to create one. So, we're going to do slash boss bar create. Now, the ID is what it's internally named. So, we're going to make a boss bar and we're going to call it test. Now, the name, this is what actually shows up. So, see how we have something say slash boss bar? Now, you can, it's very simple, you can just do something. So, we're going to call this Tim's Health. Now it's not going to show up and you're going to be like why is that and I'll get to that in a second and you can of course remove them um, with slash rem uh, here you guys can see uh, it's remove and then the name so test um, now when you're naming them you want to be very detailed the bad example is this. I did this on purpose um, is having just numbers it gets very confusing you want to na name them something so a better example of this since its name is Tim's Health um, so we're going to be changing this, but Tim's Health, you might want to change it to something a little bit nicer looking, um, like Tim, Tim's Health, uh, Camel Case, so Tim Health. If you don't know what Camel Case is, it's first letter, lowercase, rest, capital, and that's just a very nice method of um, keeping everything organized. So once you have your boss bar, we have Tim, you want to actually do some stuff with this. Now there's lots of different things you can do, but first we're going to get it. Um, now we can't actually do anything with getting it right now. Um, as you can see, uh, it's just kind of basic. Um, and now it's more more of that is used for actually doing command block stuff um, with execute store. Um, but we're not doing execute stuff. I feel like that's not really necessary right now. Um, if you guys don't know what, how to use execute store, I did a very basic tutorial of that um, in my execute video, which you can check out. Anyways, so slash boss bar get, that's what it does. Um, very basic. Yeah. Next, we have slash boss bar list. And this just lists the boss bars. Um, you can see there. If you hover over them, it will actually tell you what their internal name is. Um, and you can see it's very, very nice. Now the next thing we have it with slash boss bar is set. Now this is where you're going to be doing all your customization. Again, test is just the name. It, can, it will be whatever you put in. So first you can set the color. Then we have seven different colors. Um, but before we actually set the color, I'm just going to make it visible to us. Now the way it works is you do players and it will show up for all players. Now right now it has a value of zero out of 100. You can um, that is the default, but you can set the maximum value to one, um, all the way to stop. Um, you can also set the value of it. You can see it's at one now. If we set the max to three, it will go to two thirds. So we're just going to fill it up for now. I mean, that's very nice. So once you have the boss bar and it's showing up, uh, again, set name, players, people you want to show up, or you can set its color. Now we have a whole bunch of different colors, and I'll just go through them very quickly. Um, and what you'll notice is that the, the text actually changes colors, um, which is a little bit interesting. And, of course, that's not the point I want to point out. I want to point out something else. Um, now this is getting way too complicated if you guys don't know what I'm talk going to talk about. Uh, but it's the uh, it's the JSON format which is the dot JSON it's the quotes text and then you do your text and then you do your color so in this case it's color red. Now this is just interesting um, if we set it to pink and the reason why it's interesting is it will change its color to technically pink internally. But what's interesting about it is not the fact that they're just so different. It's the fact that if I were to do a tell raw um, and if I tried to display that pink, what you'll actually see is that the pink 
is n not what you'd assume. The pink pink is not a pink is not text. It's actually red. So technically, the pink is red. And again, this is where people um, are getting a little bit confused by. This is the dark red, which is used in the uh, boss part set red. Um, you guys can see that's the same shade. Now it's getting over complicated, but hopefully, what I'm hoping for is that we'll get a um, we'll get a reset on the colors and the color. Well, uh, just because I feel like that totally needs a reset. Um, it's so confusing right now. We have stuff like some colors that don't have any. I think that's brown is the only one we don't have. Um, I might be wrong, and then we have stuff like uh, cyan. We do actually have a cyan here. Um, but it's called Dark Aqua, and it just gets, I mean, why not just call it Cyan? My God. But let's not get too far off the topic of Slash Boss Bar. So again, we can set the color, and that will adjust the text of it. Um, now, the maximum value is just the maximum value, how, the high, how high it goes. Um, now, the higher the number, obviously, the more detailed you can get with this, um, which is nice. And then, now I'm going to go into style. We have six styles. We have notch 10. And I'm actually going to set the to 1, just so you guys can actually see what it looks like. So we have notch 10, notch 12, notch 20, and notch 6. Now I recommend probably notch 10 if you're doing something like player health. Um, but of course, if you want to be super precise, 20 is every single heart. Um, again. Oh, and progress. Progress is just com no notches. Um, and again, that's that. Um, we have the value, which is how much is actually in it. You can go to zero. Very nice. And we have visible, so whether players will actually see it or not. And again, we have one other thing. We have the, the name. Now, I skipped this on purpose. Uh, just because this work gets confusing. You can set it up exactly how I showed you, just put quotes. This where if you want custom colors and other things. So we're going to do Tim's health again. But this time, since it's red, maybe we'll go with the dark, or the light red, just because I think that might look a little bit nicer. Now again, that is the pink that showed up. And you can see, um, that looks nice. And what you'll notice, actually, is the boss bar, the outer brackets show the color and the inner shows actually what's being displayed. And that's incredibly nice. Now if I actually set the color, since we defined a color, if I go pink and then if I go blue, it does continue to maintain its actual text. I'm going to set it back to red for now, um, which is incredibly nice. You could do other things such as bold. Now bold is actually a special case, so you just do true. And you can see that shows up nice and bold. And if I can spell it correctly, hopefully I did. You can also make it italic, as well as, I believe, underline is, I must have spelled that wrong. It's underlined, I missed the D. And you can see that shows up as well. So you have tons of customizability with this. Again, it's all JSON, and if you ever, um, and it just shows up very nice. And of course, you can customize this however you want. You can set the notches, you can set it. Um, uh, now, I'm going to end the video. I know it's pretty short, but I mean, this is a very basic concept. If you have any problems or any special scenarios you'd like me to tell you how to do, or if you have any, any bugs with this, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer everyone. Um, now, a few examples. This is some great examples. Is kill to death ratios can be shown in this, and that's pretty easy just by setting your amount of um, kills as the value and the deaths as the maximum, um, or deaths to kill ratio, again, exact opposite. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of really nice things you can do with this. Uh, you can show players health, boss, custom boss health. Um, you can show Tim's health. You can just display um, advertisements uh, for stuff. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool things with this. Um, and it's very nice. Um, and of course you can store values into this, you can store values and the maximum value. 
and again, if you ever don't like it, um, you can just do slash boss bar. Now, the thing to know is when you set the players, um, the players always, you can reset the players by doing that, by the way, um, but the players will always, um, like, be there. So, even if you turn it off, so test, visible, false, you can, and then true, you'll see it's always there, it's just false means no one will see it, um, and that's just a very nice method to just clear the screen quickly, um, you can make it so every player has the boss bar and then only show it when you're in game, maybe to um, show off like um, which teams are alive or I don't know, a lot of customizability. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you have any special command requests, things you want to see me do, um, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you're having any trouble, any specific, um, again, comments below. Uh, leave a like if this video helped you because it helps me for helping you. And that's it. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.